going to do is you're going to assess the position of the left and right mastoid process while they're lying on their back. Is the ICT the same? So you're going to put your index fingers now medial to the mastoid process. And your middle fingers will be on the occiput, so that they're, they're quite close together, but you want to be on either side of that occipitotemporal suture. This is called a V-spread technique, and all I want you to do is to get a sense of how easy it is to distract the temporal bone from the occiput. Which side has more resistance? So now distract the temporal bones and now correct the rotation. Release the correction and feel for where the vector goes that's causing the twist. When the posterior cerebellum, when the posterior cerebellar tentorium has, is congested, when the sinus is congested, it will compress the posterior part of the temporal bone into the occiput. You'll feel the compression or the tightness go into the back of the head behind the ear. So to open the transverse sinus and to facilitate the drainage of the venous system, we are going to maintain the correction, so you maintain the unwinding of the temporal bones. And now you're going to bring your opposite hand onto the frontal bone on the contralateral side. So now as you, you push from on the frontal bone towards your hand that is bridging the occipital temporal suture and you wait until you feel the pressure arrive between your middle finger and your index finger and you continue to spread or distract the occipital temporal suture oh. using the pressure as an assist. What the patient may feel is the pressure on the back of their head relieving and it almost feels like someone has pulled a plug from the drain and they feel all this fluid draining. All right, let the, com let the correction go and come back now and recheck the mobility of distraction between the temporal bone and the occiput. Okay, it should be much more symmetric. And if that was the only vector that was there, the alignment of the temporal bones should be better. And when you release both temporal bones at the same time, they should merely float back to the center, not be pulled into the neck, not be pulled into the thorax, not to be pulled anywhere else. But if there is now a vector showing up between the head and the neck, then you go release it. So you find the vector between your two hands, And you just hold it, hold it until it lets go. Yeah. Open your mouth. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. 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 So then come back to the temporal bones again. Check the position, distract, 
そして側頭骨を開くようにしてください。Release. 側頭骨を開いてリリースします。Oh. Good. Good. Listen. Okay? Alright, and then you sit the person up and recheck the meaningful task. 